Samokelo remembers all too well being ambushed by rebels of the Lord's Resistance Army more than two decades ago. He said he was walking home from school in northern Uganda when he was forcefully kidnapped, an incident which haunts him till this day. Abduction should never occur to children because it is, it is a, a horrific occurrence that lives with you for the rest of your life. Such abductions were very common in the region. After the LRA, a Christian extremist organization began their campaign to oust President Jerry Museveni in the late 1980s. Many of the worst atrocities were committed by former commander Thomas Koyelo. The 50-year-old was recently sentenced to 40 years in jail by Uganda's International Crimes Division Court over what it called War Crimes and Crimes Against Humanity committed between 1993 and 2005. Such crimes, uh, individuals will refrain from them because they will look at what happened to Thomas Coero, uh, a clear indication that even when there is an armed conflict, you must protect the lives of the civilians who are not participating in conflict, but also you must be very careful as a commander to not participate in such heinous acts. The former rebel commander is the only LRA commander to be charged and sentenced for war crimes before a specialized national court. The sentencing could have offered a degree of closure for many of the LRA victims, but the next step of reparations to transform the lives of the victims remains a critical matter. The court says it will conduct a separate proceeding to address the issue of reparations. Part of reparations could be for satisfaction, for compensation, and it could take different forms depending on how the court will advise. And also, given how defense, uh, how victims' counsel will bring that matter forward. For Kello, the pain of the past could be healing, but slowly. However, with justice being brought on to some of the perpetrators, the long wait remains on whether Joseph Kony the founder and commander of the Lord's Resistance Army, who is still at large, will ever be held accountable for his acts. Leon Sanyange Sijitien, Kampala, Uganda.